Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to another Fritzy Faves, Fails, and Muzz. <laughs> Let's just start here. Water bottles. Oh, for crying out loud, what a... <laughs> You guys have probably seen my water bottles I've had for a few years now. They were just not insulated or anything, but water bottles and they sweat, okay? And you screw it on and you like take the protective cap off and you chug it and it's a whole thing. Anyway, after years of using those, they gave out. I needed to go and get something. I'm looking for something that will keep my water cold all night long so that when I wake up, I have still really cold water. Before I continue on with this story, I want to say that I purchased this before the one I'm getting ready to talk about. And I had it for about a week and the lid kept popping off of it. And I just kept pushing it back down and it would slowly work its way back off. And I'd push it back down. And I just kept doing that until this one night when I dumped ice water all down the front of me and soaked my bed because the lid had come off and I didn't know. So I took this one back and I was on the hunt again. So I'm not going to say who, but there's somebody in my family who has like a Stanley cup. Now bear with me here. So here's what I was under the impression of when I purchased this thing, which didn't come from my own money because I would have choked on that price a little bit. <laughs> okay, but you know, if it lasts for years, it's okay with me. It leaked. Leaking. Leaking badly. I didn't really like its straw. Okay, it didn't feel like a real straw. It felt like a big straw. And it did not keep the water overnight. Of course it kept the water overnight. It wasn't leaking that bad. I meant it didn't keep it like super duper cold overnight. You know, it was cold, but it wasn't ice cold. Anyway, so I took the Stanley mug back too. I just want one that keeps my drink ice cold all night long, and this one does. I like that like the Stanley, it screws on, not pops on. I like the straw on this one better. It's more like a real straw. I mean, it cost almost as much as the Stanley mug did, but you know, <laughs> I will have that forever and ever and ever, <laughs> unless I lose it. But it, that one, or these by Swell. Okay, so I got this in a FabFitFun box that they sent at Valentine's Day after I'd already purchased my Awala. I put this thing through it, I'm telling you, because I'm like, I'm tired of the whole water bowl thing. If you fill this with ice and you put cold water in it, I promise you that this thing will, the next morning, still have ice in it, still be ice cold. But I don't like this kind of a water bottle because I don't want to do this. But if you don't mind doing that, then this could be a choice for you. Both of those, I will say, I will put the Fritzy stamp on and say, yes, they do actually. Keep your water freezing cold all night. This is something that my son got for me. It is a foot bath. I've had them before and it was a pain in the butt because you didn't have any place to put them, right? This one is collapsible, but the rollers don't move on their own. You take your feet and go over the rollers and it feels good. So if you like rubbing your foot on a tennis ball or you know something like that, it applies pressure, you would like this. But the feature that I love about it the most, it collapses down like this. On the bottom, you can actually wind the cord and look, this is how thick it is now. This slides right under my bed. Also, what comes with this is a foot kit. It's got files, a razor. You probably shouldn't be doing that. But I thought, well, that's probably going to be a cheap set, right? <laughs> so I purchased this and no, it's a fail because it'll tear your whole foot off. So I just want to tell you in case you don't know, don't get one of these. I mean, it's not just this brand, anything that looks like this. And the very first time that I did my pedicure, I used this and I went like that on my toe and I was waiting for a whole month it took. I really thought I was going to have to go to the doctor because I took off too much of my foot on a place on my heel and my big toe. You guys know that I've been in a lot of pain lately and that this chair is the cause of it. I don't remember who said to me a lot of what's going on with you in this chair. I mean, I kind of know, is your posture. I mean, I sit on my left leg. I got a heating pad behind me, you know, sitting on my left leg, doing this number to get my back into the heat on the pad that's behind me and stuff. And you know, there are days when I have to take a cane just to get up out of this chair. I hurt. So I went looking for chair pads that I could put in here that might make a difference. And I saw this one and I thought, that's it. That's going to be the thing I need. I mean, I watched all kinds of videos on it and everything else. And so I ordered this thing and it cost, I don't remember. I'll put something here that shows you. So I ordered this, it came in and 
No, it didn't work. The bottom, the pad on this one was hard as a rock. The memory foam never like expanded. And so it was hard as a rock. But the back, the back of it, I thought, whoa, that really kind of makes me sit up straight. And that support for my back felt good. And I thought, okay, all right, I'll return this one because there's obviously something wrong with this one. And it didn't come up as high on my back as another one from their competitor. So I thought, okay, I'll return this one and I'll get that one because it comes up higher in the back. That'll be better for me. The same principle applies. You pull those straps and then it like forces you to sit up straight. On this one here, the problem was actually the back. So even though it did come up higher, it didn't have the support of the first one, but the seat on it, the cushion of the seat felt good. And I thought, oh, took that one back. And then I'd realized by that point that if something was back here that pushed this part of my back forward, that that is really good. That really feels good. And I can actually manage a lot better that way. So I took this candle because <laughs> it's, cylinder-ish, right? And I put it back behind me and it got right in that area and it doesn't let my back come back against this chair and slump. And I thought that's what I need. I need something like this. This is called the McKenzie roll. And oh my goodness, goes on the back of the chair or your waist if you want to use it in another chair around the house. And then I bought this separate. This is the tush guard. Between these two, I now have it. So let me put it behind me again, because without these in place, I'm back to sitting on my left foot in the old way when I'm slumped over, which I'm going to have to slump over a little bit because otherwise my whole person will not be in frame. <laughs> but when I'm working on the computer, I'm able to sit completely up straight and I'm comfortable. So let me get this back in place. But I just wanted to tell you, since I've been using this, I can't. I cannot get my leg like it is right now up underneath me. So I don't sit on it all day. So my knee doesn't hurt. <laughs> my foot doesn't hurt. My back is straight. It forces me to sit, not uncomfortably, but it forces me to sit straight up in this chair. And I can't believe what a difference my posture is making. <laughs> Now you remember a few videos back, I told you about the um, little credit card holder things, which is still nice if I want to take like my fanny pack purse. Okay, I can just put a few credit cards in that and go. But remember I said it was kind of a bummer because this bilfo was given to me by my high school BFF and I love it so much. Looky there. I'm back to using my billfold because you guys told me about these. They're RFID protection sleeves that you can put on your individual credit cards. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I didn't even know about this. There's extras in here. Okay, you got several different kinds. You got those sleeves for credit card. You got passport sleeves. Thank you to you guys. Because of these sleeves, I can now carry my billfold again and I love it so much. Okay, I got a new razor. Finally, it's been years. I told you guys about the one that I had before. This one was a Panasonic and it was a rechargeable. I loved my Panasonic, but I wanted to try something different. So I asked for this from my mom and also another thing that she got me. I'll just throw that in here so you can see it. I asked for this, not disappointed, love it. It's a thing that I can wash my strawberries in when I get home from the store. Love that. Back to this. I must've used that Panasonic for, I don't know, four, five, years maybe, but I finally just gave out. So I wanted to get another rechargeable one and this is the Remington one. <laughs> this one here is a little wider. It also comes with a comb thing that I don't need the, for shaving the bikini area. I really like this so I stand behind the Remington shaver as well. Some of you have asked me about this and I didn't know, but Clarence sent this to me. Thank you, Clarence. My first thought was, why do I need this when I have the double serum, right? I'll just bring it up under my eyes. Uh, now this does a better job under the eyes. There's actually two sides to this. So you have a, a creamy side and an oil side. I'll waste a pump of this for you. <laughs> okay, so that you can see. This is just goodness. <sighs> Now I'm going to be addicted to yet another product that I can't easily afford. But I think if I had to choose, because I couldn't possibly, my budget would not allow me to have both double serum for my face and double serum for my eyes. This is something I treasure a little bit more than even the double serum. This actually does do something special and I love it. And if you follow it up with that eye cream that I always use, <laughs> 
as it sits right now, I have an abundance of Genifique eye cream because of the holiday box from Lancome. When those are gone, I'll probably get this. Whether Clarence sends it to me or not, I really, really love the double eye serum. Now, having said that to you, I realized that I didn't purchase this. It was sent to me. It was free. And I know that you, a lot of you, are retired and on a budget. But I think I would do without a few other things to have this. It just looks so good, feels so good. And even if I don't use the Total Eye Lift, which I absolutely loved over the top of it, I can get by with just this and I might do that. Uh, this was sitting not with the other stuff and I was reading from a list so I forgot to talk about these. So one of you asked me about these and at first I accidentally bought this one, which is just a gloss. And you know the color of this one, it reminds me of that Rimmel one. I think it was called Popcorn. And it had kind of this shimmery, pearly, this is called Pearl. Uh, but it had kind of a little bit of a blue undertone. And this reminds me of that. I'm not saying this has a blue undertone, but you know, the pearl on it reminded me of that. And I very much like this. This, <laughs> if I use this, say, over the top of lipstick or like earlier in the day I had on lipstick so there was a some kind of a coating on my mouth I don't feel this at all but if you were to put this on say like in the morning before you did anything else it does actually plump up a little bit and I can feel it all right and well there's a chili pepper right there it's a hot kind of feeling. What you would expect, if it has chili pepper in it, it's going to burn a little bit. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't enjoy the burn of this. If you really want to plump up your lips and you don't want this burning feeling, I'm not saying that uh, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker it won't hurt you, because that, that one I can feel, but it's more of a tingling kind of sensation. Um, something like this, the Buxom, it has this mint that I enjoy, that ain't like that, <laughs> okay? So yes, it did plump up my mouth a little bit. It also burns and I don't enjoy that. I especially don't enjoy getting it in my mouth. But this here is lovely. I really like this. So this is a concealer that I got from one of you. One of you sent me a package of stuff a while back and I just hadn't had a chance to use it. But I thought one day, okay, I'm gonna give this stuff a try. This is Fiera's Luxury Concealer. Recently, my BFF Mary Ellen from the channel, Mary Ellen After 60, talked about this. This is too light. The shade is too light for me, but this is a really good concealer. Some of you tell me, Mary, my wrinkles have wrinkles and you have trouble. Maybe you've even given up concealer. You really maybe want to try this. This has hyaluronic acid and collagen both in it. So it's kind of like skincare and concealer in one. I would use this more if it was a better shade for me. It's just not. I mean, usually I take light, but light in this is a little too light. And I'm afraid that if I go up one, it would be too dark. I just noticed from looking at their site, and on Amazon as well, that they have added new shades. So beige isn't the next shade up anymore. It's bisque, and that might actually work for me. But I did want to make mention of this since I seem to be like in the last couple of years really into concealers. Uh, this one is pretty good. Let me tell you about another one that I thought was going to be a disaster. Recently, I just did a video, my old face get ready with me or something, and I used products that I used years ago, like a uh, Eight to 10 years ago, I used these products. And so I bought them again to see how do they do now? Do I still like them? I thought I was gonna have a problem with the MAC Pro Longwear. I've worn this like four times now just to see, and I don't have a bit of problem with it creasing. I don't need to actually put powder on it and set it and I've not had a problem. I mean, I'm shocked. And the reason I'm shocked is because back when I was using this, I wasn't using it correctly, okay? <laughs> Let's face it, what I was doing was taking and doing the whole triangle, a massive amount here, a triangle. It was ridiculous what we were doing years ago. I mean, that looked good on camera, but in real life, people would be like, what in the world are you doing? You just aged yourself by like a hundred years. You know, just taking the tiniest bit like you would a concealer the way normal people do and putting it under your eye. I have been amazed 
that this is working for me. I really thought it wasn't gonna because I thought it aged me. Well, yeah, if you use a bunch of it, it will. Anything will if you cake it on. And also, I'm glad I have the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly back. There are days when I don't put on eyeshadow at all. And I use the Sigma Stick, which is an eyeshadow base, right? This is not a base. This is a shadow. The Sigma Stick is a base. It's meant to hang on to eyeshadows. Therefore, it is a little bit sticky. It's not really meant to be worn that way. It's an eyeshadow base. Painterly is actually the correct color for me, and I'm not using it as an eyeshadow base this time. That's what I used to use it for. What I use it for now is those days when I just want to put something on my eyes so that they don't look discolored. I've been really, really enjoying having those two things back. Okay, that's it. I really didn't have a lot of things. I just had a lot to say about a few things. <laughs> that's okay too, right? I do hope you guys know that you are the best part of the Fritzy family and that if you want a blessing, go be a blessing to somebody else and see how that makes you feel inside, all right? You do that. And if the Lord's willing, I'll see you next time. So, love you. See ya. Bye. And I'm out. They were like, you're staring. Oh, my stomach. Did you hear that? You know where you are? You're in the jungle, baby. You're going to die. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. It gets worse here every day. Scrapes your foot off of your... Yes, off your body. Off your... What? You know, it's like... It's like a horrible weapon. I would hate to be from another country trying to learn English. <laughs> Seriously? I waited for a whole month for the place on my heel to heal. Or what about when we decide to make words that are spelled the same, that mean different things, in the same sentence? I got a new razor. One that don't cut my legs. One that just goes bzz bzz and doesn't run out of battery. I got a new razor. <laughs> I love double serum on my face, but really under my eyes. I love double serum. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to be one of those TikTokers or Instagrammers or whatever that go, <gasps> Oh my God. Oh my God. It's just the best thing ever. It's so, so good. So good. But I can't help it. All right. Peter. <sighs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> that wasn't really a donkey, was it?